Hey, this question is for Roger. Uh, Roger, it seems like you've really exploded on UFC ever since the Sports Illustrated and that. You seem supremely confident, and we know that you know confidence is a big part of getting in there. Is there any chance that you could be overconfident in this fight? I mean, you, you've kind of almost made it sound like you know play is just kind of a stepping stone to what you want to get to in the end. And where does your confidence come from? Because uh, I mean, I've seen a lot of fighters in a lot of years, but your confidence just seems almost over the top. The truth is, man. Uh Again, this is just a fight. This is uh, that's all it is. You know, it's not like it's not like the next day I'm thinking about where the hell I'm gonna sleep, what I'm gonna eat, all those things. This is a fight. That's all it is. To me, going in there, you know, it's my niche, man. It's it's it's, it's a it's a drug. It's a, it's like my fix. So I, I love doing it. That's that's really it. I've been fighting my whole life, and you know what? You guys are gonna see it. And Clay, uh, if I can get a follow-up from you, I mean, I know you've been in, I've seen you around town in different places with some, at some of the other fights with some of the guys that you hang out with, uh, over the hard rock at WEC and some other things as well. And what, what is your confidence level going into? I mean, you almost seem a little bit more quiet, but I noticed when Roger said he was going to be 6-0, and all, you were kind of sitting there rubbing your hands together like, okay, well, let's bring it on and let's see what happens Saturday. Yeah, I think Roger and I carry a lot of the same characteristics in our confidence and our performance. Um, I hope he's game on because that's the only fighter that I want out there in the cage with me is a guy that's 110%. That way there's no, uh, no people out there asking me afterwards, well, is he a fluke, this and that. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to do my best like I always do. Fight in, fight out. And like you said, it's just another fight. It's going to just tap into the main event. And uh, it's my birthday, it's my night, it's my day. People here did uh, throughout the entire time. And it seemed like right from the start that you and Matt had almost a bond, like Matt looked at you as somebody that, you know, he could relate to, you know, a, you know, a, a farm kid who had a lot of strength in that. And it looked like at first you were just kind of like a raw talent and uh, you've really developed your skills in that. How much more have you developed since then? And how much of it is that you're going in? I know Matt says that it's going to be power over technique, but do you think that it is just your power? Or has your, te has your technique improved enough that you think that you can give him a run for his money on that level as well? Well, I think what you saw on the TV show, yeah, yeah. I, I, I am wrong. <laughs> uh, just coming up, I mean, uh, I, you know, going off the TV show, I mean, I just did the regular thing, like I was getting ready for a fight, you know, farming and trying to train. Um, and uh, being on the show with Matt, I mean, it really opened up my eyes to see what, what I got to do. So I'm concentrated more. I mean, expect a better fighter, expect a, a, a different me out there instead of, you know, just doing nothing but, you know, power and strength, but you do always see my heart out there right on the line. It, it's funny because I picked these two guys for, for opposite reasons. I picked Matt uh, because I knew I could put Matt right out on the, on the, on the, in the octagon first uh, but with all his experience and everything else. Um, so when I picked him, I knew that he was going to fight good for me. And Tommy was the exact opposite. I picked Tommy with the fact with thinking that uh, he's somebody that can kind of uh, brush up on some things, teach us some stuff, and I held Tommy back until the very end. Um, and it's just funny how, how both these guys made it the whole way. Uh, Matt came in the show, probably didn't need me one bit, could have made it to the finals, to be honest. Uh, Tommy, on the other hand, he needed uh, my coaches and me, and we got him to the finals. So it's just interesting how much different these two guys are. Um, it'll be very interesting for me to see who wins.